Hey guys, this is Esther. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a project share using items I got from BB Crafts. BB Crafts contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try their products and then do a review and make a video on them. So these are my true and honest opinions on them. So I hope that you guys like the project that I made. But before I show you the project, let me show you the items that I did get from them. So the first thing that I ordered were these like glue bottles and I've seen so many people have those little um, like metal super super thin or tips for their glues and I just have my glue in a regular glue bottle that it comes in. So I did order myself um, some bottles however I didn't think this many would come in the package guys and I think there was like 18 or 20 bottles per package and this is what they look like. They have this little rubber cap to cap it so it doesn't dry off and then it's got um, like a really pointy little top and I used mine. I didn't fill it all the way up because I thought what if I don't like it, what if it doesn't work, what if it dries out. I don't want to fill it all the way up and lose that glue. However guys, it has not dried up on me. Um, I don't cover it when I'm crafting but as soon as I'm done I cover it up and it has not um, dried on me it has not clumped up on me it has not clogged on me and as you can see and this right here is regular Elmer's paper glue but I do use it for like you know when you have die cuts that have like a whole bunch of little intricates and stuff like that this is great and I love the tip so this was a plus for me I really really liked it plus look at all these that I got so I will definitely be sharing these with some of my friends the next thing that I got was gold thread. So they had a pack of silver and gold thread. So I thought, let me go ahead and get this. And OMG, you guys, it is so much. I don't think I will ever, ever, ever in my lifetime <laughs> need to buy any more gold or silver thread. This is what they look like. And this one I haven't opened because I didn't use. But this one I did use. And look how nice and thin that is. And you can actually use this on the sewing machine. Or you can do what I did and just clump it up and then put it behind your die cuts and stuff like that. Um, just for a little added texture. But look how much is in here. Like, I don't know that I will ever need um, to buy thread again. The only down side to this you guys is I hate how it smells like this uh, cardboard part I'm not even gonna lie I really really don't like it however once you air it out like it you know it goes away or fades away the initial impact is very very strong um, but if you can get past that then absolutely this is a great deal again the smell of this like cardboard they use is not the best it kind of smells like horse poo um, but once you air it out I've had it out in my room and you know it's fine now it's just that oh that first initial slap to the face of the scent <laughs> anyways this is another big big thumbs up for me because I like I said this is so much I mean unless you're crafting like a hundred projects a day you probably won't have to buy thread for a while because there is so much. And then the other thing that I got were these little wooden pieces, little wood hearts that said love and I love you. And there is about, um, I want to say, um, I think 100 and 100 or 50 and 50. I'm not really sure, but these come together. Like when you order them, this is one. Um, you don't order them separately they came together and this one just says I love you and then it's blank on the other side and this one just says love and then on the other side it is um, blank but that is what they look like and I really like the size of these for like memory decks cards little albums and you'll see how I used them here and there on my projects and the last thing that I ordered that I did not use in my project was sequence this is what I got and the reason I didn't use any of the sequins it's not because it's not good let me do a close-up look um, it was just because these colors were too colorful and even though you know fall is orange and green and browns I just thought it was like too pinky and I don't know I just felt like I didn't I didn't think I should mix them but these are great for shaker cards they come in different sizes to add to your cards like a little just extra little touch of bling I think these are great. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I was trying to make an envelope and I accidentally made a box. How does that happen? I don't know, guys. I don't even know how it came about to be, but I made this box trying to make a 
envelope. <laughs> yes. And I don't even know myself how it happens. However, inside I have added some tape and then I've added, whoops, I've got some strings too. Um, I've added some tape here and inside I have a pair of fuzzy socks. And here you can see how I used the thread and the little I love you wooden heart. And these are little wooden pieces. I think that looks so pretty. This is the first place I used it. And then this is like the main project that I'm gonna send out to her. And it is an everything flip and that is what I have named it. I don't know if anybody has ever done one before but I was inspired by Lexi Lou, who for my birthday sent me a little mini everything flip and that's where I got the idea to make these. And basically what it is, it's not a tag flip, it's not an envelope flip, it's an everything flip. So you've got, um, tags, you've got envelopes, you've got baggies, you've got clear pockets. I also have the mini chip baggies that I showed you how to make in our trick or treat YouTube hop video. So without further ado guys, here is my little everything flip for my buddy. Ta-da! <laughs> I really, really... <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, guys. I was choking before I started doing the video. Like I, you know when you drink something and it goes down the wrong tube, so then you're like choking and dying. Oh, that was me right before the video, so now it's like my throat is itchy and, <clears throat> and all that fun stuff. Anyways, this is my little tassel that I made to go along with it. I've got some Dollar Tree ribbon, I've got some yarn, I've got some eyelash trim, I've this is from online and then um, this one right here this mustard lace I got as in friend mail from somebody and so this is what my everything flip looks like the first one is a tag and I had made the top part and then Sandy um, for her entry to my birthday challenge she had some embellishments on these beautiful tags and I thought oh my gosh those are perfect so then I took my top and glued it on top of the tag that Sandy had sent me and I just you know did a little my rendering of mixed media I did a little bit of stenciling and I show you up close a little bit of stenciling you've got some flower um, paint splashes and then this little flower I got for my birthday from Miss Lexi Lou these are from cutie star they're planner stickers but like I said you can use anything I got these bows um, as gifts as well so pretty look at all these flowers how adorbs and these I got for my birthday as well and then when you turn it over oop, I added a um, pocket from the planner society and then I just added some stickers in there for her to use if she wants to or pass them along if you get something from me and you don't like it please feel free to pass it along because it's better that you pass it along and somebody else use it, uses it then it just sits there because you feel bad or that you just throw it away so then I added a little wooden owl here some pumpkins and that is the first tag so the first flip is a tag and then the next flip is just a little baggie and here you can see how I've added and actually this one I need to glue down better because this little guy keeps coming off from back here. So I added some of the gold thread here and then the little wood piece here because I love the fall and my own vellum leaves that I made and you probably saw those if you saw my card share video that's um, where I use those as well. Then I made a little mini chip bag. That's what it looks like. And then if she wants to, she could take this off and then reuse it. The back I did leave empty. Then I have a little thing of sequins and that are very like folly. So she can go ahead and take these and add something else or just use them individually. So cute. And then I have this regular store-bought um, card, not card bag that I received in friend mail. I did a little rosette. Again, she could take this off and use it if she wants to do that. And then in the inside, it has a few little goodies. And then this is one of my favorites. It is a five pocket, uh, it's just a little five pocket uh, thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, but you, I've gifted her some little um, like cutouts of the little fall mamach from Leia's Pouchies. I've gifted her some of these little cutie star girls. Then I've punched out some scalloped circles and then I've gifted her back here um, like a bunny and something else 
fox maybe I don't know I can't remember um, little cutout as well and then this is the envelope that I made <laughs> for some reason it ended up in a box at first but then yeah I finally did it right and as you can see I've used another little wooden piece here from BB crafts these are great as just little extra touches and they're not that big so they don't take up like your whole space but look how pretty they just give that finishing touch I did one of the planner society houses and then I laminated it and I sent her some washi it's, yeah and then I made her a clear pocket and I used one of the little fall mama and then I also um, I don't know if you can see here I've added some of the thread I like it just kind of peeking out through the back and then in here I've added some um, rosettes that she can use you see you can see through that she can use and once she takes them off this back part is almost like it's still decorated because it has um, a cute saying and some like fall pictures so yeah guys this is my everything flip I have as you saw I have tags I have little bags I have chip bags I have plastic bags I have pre-made store bags I have little paper pockets I have envelope and I have a little um, washi tag and a clear pocket down here and I really really like how it turned out and I am so excited to send this out to her um you know her style is not like mine her style is I don't know her style is marvelous and I hope that she likes this little gift I made for her um because fall is my favorite time of the year I, I wanted to send her something that I love <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that she likes it as well. I will also leave in the description box below guys my affiliate link with BB Crafts. So if you guys do click on it and do end up purchasing something, I will be compensated for it. However, that does not change the price for you guys. You guys will pay the same amount whether you click on my link or you go directly to the website. So if you guys want to click on my link, I would truly appreciate it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah guys, don't forget. I think out of everything, this one and the little... These guys are my favorite. Again, this hasn't clumped up, dried up, or clogged my little thing right here. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys like this video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and join our tiny family. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.